Programming Paradigms Programming paradigms are different ways or styles in which a given program or programming language can be organized. Each paradigm consists of certain structures, features, and opinions about how common programming problems should be tackled. Procedural Programming Procedural programming is a programming paradigm built around the idea that programs are sequences of instructions to be executed. Examples of computer procedural languages are BASIC, C, Fortran, Java, and Pascal. Procedural languages are some of the common types of programming languages used by script and software programmers. Advantages Procedural Programming It is faster. It is pre-compiled. It reduces network traffic. It is reusable. Disadvantages Procedural Programming It is difficult to debug. Need expert developer since difficult to write code. It is database dependent. It is non-portable. Structured programming, sometimes known as modular programming, is a programming paradigm that facilitates the creation of programs with readable code and reusable components. The structured program consists of well-structured and separated modules. But the entry and exit in a structured program is a single-time event. Example, Java, c -sharp, C++, etc. It is a subset of procedural programming. It relies on concept of objects that contain data and code. Programs are divided into small programs or functions. Advantages of structured programming It is user-friendly and easy to understand. Similar to English vocabulary of words and symbols. It is easier to learn. They require less time to write. They are easier to maintain. Disadvantages of structured programming Can increase complexity of the program Slower Hard to manage Difficult error tracking A steep learning curves Page faults Object-oriented programming Object-oriented programming, OOP, is a style of programming characterized by the identification of classes of objects closely linked with the methods, functions, with which they are associated. It also includes ideas of inheritance of attributes and methods. Significant object-oriented languages include Java, C++, C Sharp, Python, and JavaScript. The simplest way to explain object-oriented programming to a kid is to use something like a car as an example. A car has a model name, a color, a year in which it was manufactured, an engine size, and so on. Advantages of object-oriented programming It is easy to maintain and modify. It maintains the security of data. Low-cost development. Higher quality. Disadvantages of object-oriented programming. It is slower than other programs. It is not suitable for some sorts of problems. It takes time to get used to it. Steep learning curve. Application of Object-Oriented Programming 1. Client-Server Systems Object-Oriented Client-Server Systems provide the IT infrastructure, creating Object-Oriented Client-Server Internet OCSI, applications. Here, infrastructure refers to operating systems, networks, and hardware. OSCI consists of three major technologies. The Client-Server 
Object-Oriented Programming The Internet 2. Object-Oriented Databases They are also called Object Database Management Systems, ODBMS. These databases store objects instead of data, such as real numbers and integers. Objects consist of the following. Attributes. Attributes are data that define the traits of an object. This data can be as simple as integers and real numbers. It can also be a reference to a complex object. Methods. They define the behavior and are also called functions or procedures. Three. Real-time system design. Real-time systems inherit complexities that make it difficult to build them. Object-oriented techniques make it easier to handle those complexities. These techniques present ways of dealing with these complexities by providing an integrated framework, which includes stimulability analysis and behavioral specifications. 4. Simulation and Modeling System it's difficult to model complex systems due to the varying specification of variables. These are prevalent in medicine and in other areas of natural science, such as ecology, zoology, and agronomic systems. Simulating complex systems requires modeling and understanding interactions explicitly. Object-oriented programming provides an alternative approach for simplifying these complex modeling systems. 5. Hypertext and Hypermedia OOP also helps in laying out a framework for hypertext. Basically, hypertext is similar to regular text, as it can be stored, searched, and edited easily. The only difference is that hypertext is text with pointers to other text as well. Hypermedia, on the other hand, is a superset of hypertext. Documents having hypermedia not only contain links to other pieces of text and information, but also to numerous other forms of media, ranging from images to sound. 6. Neural Networking and Parallel Programming It addresses the problem of prediction and approximation of complex time-varying systems. Firstly, the entire time-varying process is split into several time intervals or slots. Then, neural networks are developed in a particular time interval to disperse the load of various networks. OOP simplifies the entire process by simplifying the approximation and prediction ability of networks. 7. Office Automation Systems these include formal as well as informal electronic systems, primarily concerned with information sharing and communication to and from people inside and outside the organization. Some examples are Email Word processing Web calendars Desktop publishing 8. CIM slash CAD slash CAM systems OOP can also be used in manufacturing and design applications, as it allows people to reduce the effort involved. For instance, it can be used while designing blueprints and flowcharts. OOP makes it possible for the designers and engineers to produce these flowcharts and blueprints accurately. 9. AI Expert Systems These are computer applications that are developed to solve complex problems pertaining to a specific domain, which is at a level far beyond the reach of a human brain. It has the following characteristics. Reliable Highly responsive Understandable High performance Beginners choose Python as a preferred programming language as it makes coding faster and easier. 
If you want to learn object-oriented programming, you should look into our object-oriented programming fundamentals with Python course.